Wrath of Man is a story of revenge based around the cash truck business in Los Angeles. And Jason Statham plays H, who is on a tear of vengeance to find the killers of his innocent son, who was by accident caught up in a robbery. He was a witness at a violent cash truck robbery. Unbeknownst to the robbers that Jason Statham is a crime lord himself, so he's very qualified to find the culprits involved in this heinous and unfortunate accident. There are few subjects as sensitive as the unpalatable concept of a child dying before the parent. It's even worse when a child is murdered, when an innocent child is murdered. But when the father happens to be a killer himself, it inspires all sorts of empathetic vengeance that anyone can relate to. N not necessarily for the right reasons, but one can't help but feel very emotionally charged about that particular theme. So we deal with the themes of vengeance, visceral vengeance, understandable, empathetic vengeance, which is unpalatable in any capacity. However, you can empathise and sympathise for the reasons why one would be so emotionally charged. Theft, greed, wrath, sons, fathers, blood thicker than water. Ultimately, greed being the genesis of destruction and almost anticlimactically the fulcrum upon which such biblical vengeance is exercised in order to satiate the loss of one's kin. This film is more, uh, more violent, uh, more gritty and arguably more realistic than any of my other films have previously been. I've always been very keen on, on Jason Statham as an actor. In fact, I was the first person to use Jason Statham as an actor. I think the first thing I used him was in Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels. We opened the film on Jason. I always thought, thought, I always thought that Jason Statham should be a movie star. I'm very happy to see that he has become one. And uh, it, it feels like we should be reunited. And I felt as though we should do something that wasn't funny for a change. I thought this would be the perfect story for Jason and I to be reunited on. Um, it's not funny, this film. It's serious and the theme is serious and it's very violent and very aggressive. But I thought it'd be the perfect film uh, for the perfect role for Jason to occupy. When it came to getting Jason to be in this film, it was as simple as calling him up and giving him a two minute pitch on what that film was. Uh, neither, of the, neither of us overthunk it at the time. We liked the premise. The, the, the premise of the movie could be summarized in a sentence. Jason, I always felt was perfect for this particular film. And I'm a big fan of his. Um, and he's gone on and be become incredibly successful. And I feel as though this, was, uh, this film is really a question of selling apples and you're actually buying apples. So it does what it says on the tin, this film which is Jason Statham in Revenge, in an intelligent, uh, intelligent genre movie, which, which its spine and motivation is that of revenge, intelligent revenge, and understandable revenge. Yeah, Jason and I have been made for about 22 years, and I think we're probably closer now than we were 22 years ago, and I was pretty close with him 22 years ago. He's been on his journey, uh, I've been on mine, uh, he's moved back to, we both lived in Los Angeles for, I lived there for seven years, he lived there for ten. 
um, and we've both found ourselves back in London. Um, I see more of him now than I have done for 15 years or so, um, which is great. Yeah, and he's one of my best mates. There's much I respect and like about Jason Statham. There's, uh, yeah, I see more of Jason now than I have done uh, for 15 years. We're closer now than we than we were 22 years ago, I think. We're on to make another movie shortly. Um, I think, by the way, I don't. He, he doesn't look like his age today, which is the other strange thing. Um, I don't know what he's up to, but uh, yeah, he's still in great physical nick. He has a happy life, a happy f uh, family life. Um, there's a lot that Jason's managed to juggle in his life uh, very skillfully, with great wisdom. Jason has wisdom, funny enough. Um, as uh, but I really, I really respect him as both a, as an actor and a human being.